And experts at UConn are asking folks to keep an eye out for a certain invasive plant. Yeah, and this one isn't just a nuisance. News 8's Tina Detell in the New London Newsroom of the Day with what you need to know. UConn and the Invasive Plant Working Group often put out these notices, but this one could save you some pain. These are some of the, the leaves of the plant. The plant is giant hogweed, or scientifically known as Heraclium mantegazianum. Donna Ellis is UConn's invasive plant expert. She says giant hogweed from Eurasia made its way to the U.S. both by accident and on purpose, as people often trade seeds. Now, though, it is pushing out native plants, and she wants folks to be on the lookout for these flat top white flowers and large leaves. The leaves are very deeply cut and jagged, so they, they come in at many angles, a lot of points to them and edges. It may seem silly on a hot summer day like this that I'm wearing these boots and this long sleeve fleece, but Donna Ellis says these plants are more than a nuisance, and they're certainly harmful to more than just other plants. The clear sap can be painful. It can act like an anti-sunscreen, so you will be more sensitive to sunlight. It can also cause burns and blisters. It can change the color of, the, of your skin for a long time, so some permanent scarring can occur. Now found in 25 Connecticut towns, including here in Coventry, Ellis says this federal noxious weed could be spreading. We really want people to be concerned about it and, and take precaution to avoid coming in contact with it. To manage the plant, you can try to use a herbicide, but if you decide to cut it down, you're told to wear gloves and be completely covered so you avoid contact with that sap. In the New London Newsroom at the Day, Tina Detell, News 8.